Hey, this is Anthony from Results TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Scorpion XO R710 helmet, available at Revzilla.com. Everything old is new again. This is the new Exo R710 from Scorpion, the replacement for the Exo 750 that we saw go away long, long ago. And Scorpion has done a nice job iterating and moving the bar forward. In the Scorpion line, we've seen a complete overhaul in the last few years. Styles, fit schemes, protection, graphics. This is now no different. You have the XO410, which is gonna be Snell rated under that $50, or under that $150 mark. Now you have your 710, which steals a lot of DNA from the T1200, steals a lot of DNA from the R2000, and still comes in around that $200 mark. And from here, you'd move up to that R2000, which Batiste is wearing in MotoGP. Now, if we look at it, the first thing you're gonna note, if you're a Scorpion fan, is there's a refined aggression. This is going to be the focus graphic. There are solids, there are other graphics available as well, the crystal, the golden bear, or the California rather. But if we look at this, this graphic and this shell shape really don't scream stunner. They're somewhere nicely in the middle, which is fast, aggressive, classic, not over the top. They're gonna do some other graphics that are over the top, but they've integrated the vents quite nicely. There's a nice quality improvement that we've seen here. Again, you're still looking at that fiberglass composite shell, which is the big step forward over the 410, which is polycarb. But again, it's gonna be lightweight, three pounds, eight ounces, and it's going to be Snell rated around that $200 mark. So that's the big selling feature. There are a ton of helmets out there from other manufacturers that are around that $200 mark that are Snell rated. This is one of the nicer ones. It's going to vent. It's going to be quiet. It's going to fit really, really well. And they've taken that nice, nice leap forward. They've changed the shield. There's a bunch of changes that I'm going to get to as I walk through the helmet. Now, keep in mind, from a fit scheme standpoint, you're looking true intermediate oval head shape. So a little bit longer front to back, no pressure points. It's not going to have any of that neutrality we've seen in previous Scorpion models. And again, this is that nice step forward over the XO750, which was really well received. I will tell you that one of the things they've traded off, one of the few things that are not included in this new 7 10 is there's no longer an air fit system. You'd have to go into the T1200 to get that air fit system, and that's that pump mechanism that allows you to inflate the ballast behind the cheek pads. For me, I'll tell you though that that's nitpick, and I really am not a, the hugest fan of that technology. It's not something that's near and dear to my heart. So for me, in a helmet that's more sport oriented, really upright three quarter tuck position for Snell at this price point, I'm saying there's plenty of other features to this helmet that really balance that out. Now, remember, we ship for free over 39 bucks if you're concerned about that fitment, and I'd love it if you'd click right there, subscribe to us or Evzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback while subscribing on the new XO R710. So starting from the outside, working our way in, we talked about the refined shell shape. You're gonna notice that the vents have been updated as well. We now, and it's hard to see here, but there's a spring-loaded vent. It's very easy to find with your gloved hand on the top here, on your chimneys, that are gonna suck back and they're gonna extract that air through your rear ventilation system. You also have a rock-solid vent at the top of your forehead. This is something that the T1200 doesn't have because it has a drop-down sun visor. So you have that really nice ventilation system that's two, two on top, one at your forehead, sucking air in, venting it to your skull. Again, that's a really nice touch. And we went out and we put 100 miles on this bad boy and we found the ventilation scheme was not only quiet, but we really felt the difference. Now, moving into our chin vent, this has been updated as well. Three position chin vent, I have closed. I have halfway, which vents to the shield. I have fully open, which vents to the shield and vents to the face. Again, two channel system, nice update in technology and functionality here along the ventilation scheme. Now, staying with our theme here, and we talked about the fiberglass shell, which allows you to achieve that lightweight design. They've completely overhauled the shield mechanism as well. You're now using the same shield mechanism as we have in the R2000. So again, a lip tech mechanism on the side here. You'll notice that it opens up with strong detents. And then when it gets to the top, you're gonna to see that it's, it pushes back. Notice how it's moving front to back, because when it comes down to the bottom, it locks in. It sucks the shield against that gasket and creates that great seal. That's a seal for inclement weather riding. It's also a seal for head checks. You're not gonna get that wind through, because again, you have a nice big gasket creating a positive lock against the helmet. Remember, you have some UV protection here. It's gonna be a fog-free coating on the shield. You still have your vent to help the VOG even faster. And the nice part about these helmets, and this is a tried and true mechanism from Scorpion, you still have your three position lock. So you have your lock position, which is up, you have your neutral position, which is normal, and then you have your city position. Notice what I did there. I push it forward slightly, you get about a millimeter of crack, additional airflow. So again, if you get caught in a downpour, one of those cold mornings, if you're commuting, 
even better that now you have the ability to really ventilate this helmet and keep it fog free. Notice though, as I spin it around, you're gonna see this focus graphic really pop. They have the rear wing that's gonna be integrated on the previous model. It was kind of a little bit more of a bolt on construction. Again, very aggressive, aggressive. It's a refined aggression here on the XO R710. Very nice step forward from these guys. Now, if I move into my guts, you're gonna see another bunch of new changes. Notice, we're getting our emergency cheek pad removal system now. That's a new feature, still double D-ring, removable chin curtain. Remember, there's no air fit system, but now I can remove my neck roll, I can remove my cheek pad. If I'm out cold, the EMTs can do it as well, which is really more important, but it slides out, taking the neck roll with it. Notice, quick wick two liner, antimicrobial, very comfortable, going to wick sweat away, nice contour to it, has a nice firmness to it with plenty of room for a speaker pocket, but notice how simply I just slid that out. That's your emergency cheek pad removal system at work, and again, we normally used to see emergency cheek pad removal systems come in north of three, north, north of $400. Now we're seeing it for the first time coming around that $200 range on a Snell and DOT helmet, which is a nice touch. There's my left side. Again, rock solid, different materials, wicking, nice cutaways for those speakers. Notice on the side here, you you have a big flat area to mount your Cena or your Cardo, depending on the direction you're going, and you can do clamp mount here if you want it. Now, as we move into the helmet, you're gonna see my Quick Wick 2 liner. Again, multi-density, if I pull it out here, we're gonna notice that it's going to have nice big cutaways for ventilation, 10 millimeter vent holes coming through the top of the helmet. If we look, there's no mesh here. It's direct ventilation, 3D in its cut. And notice too that it's going to snap in at the front. You're never gonna feel these snaps because they're actually going to connect to the helmet itself instead of your forehead. And then along the back, they're spread out nice and far below the ridge on your head called that occipital ridge, keeping them out of harm's way, never giving you a pressure point. Also note, you're gonna get big speaker cutaways inside the helmet itself. You can see it right back there by my finger. That's where your Bluetooth communicator speaker's gonna go, making sure you're not gonna end up with a pressure point. Now, if we look at the helmet itself, big, big ventilated channels through the EPS, 10 millimeter vent holes. This is a nice improvement here. The vent scheme has been improved here on this XO R710. It's gonna vent extremely well, be reasonably quiet, and again, keep you comfortable at speed. Remember what I said, this helmet at around the $200 mark for Snell, you could take it to the track, you could commute in it, you could ride it for aggressive sport riding. It really does everything, whether you're going for solid or graphic, you're gonna have the ability to really get a great deal of flexibility. You can tell we're fans about it. Honestly, the only thing we had to say negative was a nitpick that we're sad to see the AirFit system go, but again, they brought the price down, they brought the weight down, they've given you more features, they've upgraded the shield chain mechanism, and now you're getting just an overall more refined, aggressive helmet that you can put to work in any riding scenario. So the next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the new Scorpion R710 at RevZilla.com. Check out the graphics, check out the solids. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we're gonna ship for free over 39 bucks. If you wanna talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, click subscribe to me on RevZilla TV, our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with all of our gear reviews. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.